Welcome along to NALS TV, coming to you from the NALS Conference 2012 and this is another in our Scottish Spotlights um, where we're going to focus on the PRS in Scotland because um, I think quite often Kevin, um, the Scottish landlords and Scottish community of lettings agents can sometimes feel a little bit isolated and left out so do you think it's positive that NALS is reaching out to them with these spotlights? Yes I do Vanessa, I absolutely do and you're, and you're right to say that because we've been We've been in Scotland now for, well, we've been working out there for a year, introducing a new tenancy deposit protection scheme, mm -hmm. and, and they do feel a bit left out. We've been doing seminars all around Scotland, and a lot of them say, well, what's going on? What's mm. going on down in England? So I think it's really important that, uh, that, that uh, trade bodies like NALS reach out to the Scottish uh, fraternity. Indeed, because their sort of legislation is quite different to the rest of the UK. They have different issues and different legislation, and I think it's important for Scottish landlords to understand that. Yeah. Yes, I mean there are differences in England in, with England and Wales and Scotland, mm -hmm. m and more so with the tenancy deposit protection which yes. is coming. This is a whole new Indeed. set of regulations for for Scotland to get to grapple with. But the actual way the schemes work are fairly similar. Mm -hmm. There's only a custodial scheme. There's no insured version. But there's certainly I encourage the landlords to log on to some of the um, the forums and, and chat sites that are available down in England and Wales where they're discussing things like TDP. Mm -hmm. And what is exactly um, has changed in the Scottish legislation? legislation. Well, the new the changes they made are around tenancy deposit protection. Yep. You now landlords now that take a deposit have to protect it with an authorised scheme within 30 days, mm -hmm. which is the same for England and Wales. Mm -hmm. uh, the big difference they've got in Scotland is there is an automatic repayment process. Mm -hmm. Now, I think this is a huge awareness campaign that needs to be run. Unfortunately, the Scottish government aren't doing a huge amount, so it's mm -hmm. up to the scheme providers to get that message out there that if you don't claim your money in 30 days, you will lose it automatically. Automatically. So it's really important to get that message out to the lettings community and also landlords and tenants and um, you're actually running sort of road shows and seminars and things to facilitate that in Scotland, aren't you? Absolutely. We're running seminars, as you say, road shows all, all around Scotland. If you log onto our web website, which mm -hmm. is the Protection Service Scotland.com, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find details of all the events that we're running and we're running awareness seminars around tenancy deposit protection, but more importantly around the dispute side and I yes. think that's the biggest challenge that letting agents and landlords are going to face in Scotland is handling disputes. So we're running lots of seminars up there. So if you log onto the site, all the information is available.